Hi, I'm Chris. I've just finished doing my at the table lecture. I've had a really good time and we have gone over loads of mentalism for a casual a close up walk around and stage and parlor situation. So there's something for everyone, probably. Stop. Do you want this one or do you want to carry on? Uh, let's keep it. This we'll one? Keep okay. It, yeah. And then give the deck another shuffle so we lose that card even further into the deck. You're going to move your hand from left to right, and I want you to imagine as if Chris is guiding you. And whenever you feel that guidance go, you're going to stop moving your arm. Perfect job. So we'll get rid. We're going to do the same thing again. There's less cards. So these are gone. It's kind of leaning towards this one, right? Not this one. So this one goes. I'm going to lift the card and move it to the middle of the table, but put your finger back on it. Okay. Open your eyes. Okay. Now, you know, Chris, I didn't just change that card. I just I moved it a little bit, but I didn't change it. Chris, tell everyone else and us what card you were thinking of. Here's a card. Have a look at what you found. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> I've taught my chair test, which I've never talked about before. But we'll give them a shuffle as if they were a pack of cards. And then you're going to choose one that you like. In fact, not one that you like, one that you think doesn't belong with those. Would you give these one more mix for me? It's kind of important. Nice hat. I like it. But I'm going to leave these in the order you've mixed them into. I really will. I won't change them or move them. It's important that we see that. What I want you to do, uh, Chris, to start with, is to just take a paper in the order they've been mixed into, and then one for you as well. And then the last one is for you. I'm sorry, you didn't really have a choice, but you did mix them up. I had an idea in mind, uh, a simple phrase. That's what we're working towards here. And it's actually, it's actually right here, and it has been since the beginning. It was this. <laughs> it's not high enough. Um, there we go. This simple phrase, in this order. Chris, if you'd unfold your paper and show it to the camera, hold it nice and clearly in front of you and we'll see if it matches. In. In the middle, what do we have? Would you open your paper, show it to the camera? This. And then over here, what do we have? Order. Perfect. So, uh, there's one left that didn't belong. You set one aside towards the camera, open it up, show us what we've got. One that is not in order, what does it say? Not in order. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you for your help. Thank you so much. I'm going to show you how to look like you can memorise a whole deck of playing cards instantly. Just uh, touch the back of one, don't take, just touch one. This one, mm -hmm. uh, you need to uh, hide it, so uh, maybe under the mat or something where I can't see. The clubs will be on the right hand side. And then uh, the diamonds, this is where you wear a diamond ring if you're, uh, if you're engaged or you're married. Should be over here on the left hand side where you'd wear a diamond ring. Pointing towards the floor if this was on a vertical uh, axis would be the spades. And then uh, here should be the hearts pointing towards your heart. And then uh, the one in the middle uh, doesn't belong anywhere, it's just the joker. So I think if I look at those really quickly I can work out what's missing. So this would be the four of spades. Ah, uh, what? What? That's awesome. Um, so I'm Chris Rawlins, and come and join me at the table.